Welcome everyone to NutriTalks. Joining us today are our experts, Dr. Heman Tucker and Dr. Anish Desai. Dr. Heman Tucker is an eminent physician practicing in Mumbai. In addition to general medicine and therapeutics, he specializes in cardiometabolic disorders and has more than three decades of experience in this field. Dr. Tucker has a wealth of experience having worked as a consultant physician and a cardiometabolic specialist at some of the most prestigious hospitals in Mumbai. He has worked closely with the physicians to shape the role of nutraceuticals in health and wellness. Dr. Anish Desai is a trained clinical pharmacologist and pharmaceutical physician with three decades of experience in academia, research, and the healthcare industry with proven leadership skills, strong business acumen, and a deep understanding of the healthcare system, including pharmaceutical, nutraceutical, and medical device industries. He's been recognized for driving positive change, delivering solutions, and developing talent, as well as nurturing strong relationships with stakeholders in the healthcare ecosystem. The COVID-19 pandemic has questioned our personal immunity levels, making us realize that we should take care of ourselves on a daily basis, not just when we're suffering from any medical conditions. The changes have started with our change in perception of strengthening our immunity with the help of natural supplements apart from medicines. But do we know what these natural resources are? What are the differences between medicine, herbal therapy, nutraceuticals, etc.? Are nutraceuticals an answer for preventative health? Let's know the answers from our experts, Dr. Heman Tucker and Anish Desai. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me. Now, Dr. Tucker, can you explain for us exactly what nutraceuticals are? We have arrived in an era of medical practice when nutraceuticals have shown the enlightened way. People ask this question, and I'm so happy you posed it, because nutraceuticals are not drugs. Mm. They are extracts or bioactive substances extracted from natural products. And these bioactive substances are purified or are simplified to be given as supplements, not as medicines, but as supplements. And these supplements are seen to nourish, to nurture, to sustain and to prolong health. So nutraceuticals can be classified as nutritional supplements. They are more natural as compared to drugs which are more science oriented. Both of them are purified. I'm not saying one over the other, but one is natural. One is from natural sources. So it doesn't have any chemicals put in it which are not natural. These nutraceuticals have now, especially after the COVID pandemic, enlightened everybody of the necessity of regularly consuming nutraceuticals to sustain, prolong and see that healthy life is the way of ongoing progress because if we look at any alternative medicines throughout history, we've always learned that nature is best. What do you think, Dr. Desai? Are nutraceuticals a viable alternative? Yeah, absolutely. In fact, uh, this debate has been going on for the last uh, couple of years. And if you look at the word nutraceuticals, it's actually a confluence of two words, nutrition and pharmaceuticals, which makes it nutraceuticals. So nutraceuticals, as mentioned by Dr. Tucker, are bioactive compounds. In fact, we talk about several of these nutraceuticals. We talk about curcumin, we talk about green tea, and we, we are consuming these uh, extracts or we are consuming these products on a daily basis. And they have been talked about in all different kinds of areas. However, what happens is that when you say curcumin, you talk of haldi, which is the commonest product used in our daily diet. However, if you have to get the right amount of curcumin, you need to have a large amount of curcumin. So these are extracted. Green tea, if you have to have the amount of green tea that's necessary to give you the efficacy, then you need to have probably 20 cups of green tea. So here what happens is that it's concentrated. That's where it gives you the optimum amount of nutraceuticals or the extract which is there to give you those effectiveness which is needed to give you that kind of an effect that you are desiring. What he said reminds me of my childhood days. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many have read the Popeye comics. 
Popa <laughs> is the guy who went to fight and every time he wanted energy, he would open a can of spinach. Now, if you know that spinach gives all the energy and the nutraceuticals, how much of curcumin you would have to eat or how much of turmeric would you have to eat to get this purified enhanced quantity? So nutraceutical medicine purifies it, simplifies it and puts it in a concentrated form. Mm. So you don't have to keep opening cans and doing <laughs> things again and again. That's the secret of natural nutraceuticals. Got it. So what I'm hearing from both of you is it's not just ghar ke home remedies. It's actually extracts that are concentrated to give you the maximum benefits of those home remedies. Is that right? Yes. Thank you, doctors. So now that we know what nutraceuticals are, it's clear that although they're not available over the counter, that's kind of the beauty of them too, combining the best of natural healing along with modern science and medicine all in one.